hello everyone this is Anikit I am back again with another tutorial and as you can see there have been some changes in the project I just did change the gun models and the environment and implemented a little better animations as you can see if I walk it will do animation this and if I run it will start doing running animations so we will see this in the future how to implement this animation things and extra extra things and all so today our main aim is to implement the crouch system as you can see if i press c it will go down and crouch c it will go down and crouch so let's see how it's done it's actually very easy and it will be a very short tutorial so let's not waste much time of yours and let's get started as you know before going into the editing or scripting part let's see how i put up my game character as in all as i always do in other videos so inside our main character empty object which holds the movement script has the body element which is also an empty object body will hold the lean script which will do left and right lean inside that I have a camera holder em empty object which, uh, which will control the mouse look script inside the cam holder I have the, our main camera which will which is actually the viewing camera inside the main camera we have our weapon stack I have uh, added only SMG here in the futures I will add sniper rifles, ARs and I will also share the tutorial on how to make those mechanisms. So inside an SMG empty game object I have my main object of SMG model. So SMG model, SMG empty object will contain the shooter script, recoil script and the audio source for uh, shooting parts which we, uh, which we saw in our previous tutorials. And the SMG model will just, just contain the sway script for uh, beautiful looking sways and extra. extra extra things and uh, so just let's uh, see how the crouching mechanism works getting started uh, with the script I as you can see I have my own movement script here you can also have your own movement script or you can get it from the tutorials I have done in this channel uh, so just for the crouching part you don't need all of this you just need few components which I will uh, show you right now you just need one public capsule collider element named player collider and a float player collider height just to store its original height and at the start first we will store its collider height in a player collider height of game object so this part you need in the start section and in update we are just checking we are just checking every time if if the user presses the key c c key code then player collider height we are getting the player collider's height and setting it to player collider's original height by 2 means the player collider height will shrink to half its original length and uh, this thing is not required it's uh, for animation part and we are setting current speed for a uh, player to player speed in crouch speed which is also not required for now just for crouching part this section is required and if we are not pressing this key player collider height is a setback set back to its original height as you can see here which we have already stored in the start section here player collider height is equal to player collider dot height so basically what we are doing is we are taking the capsule collider storing its original height in a float game object and if the user presses the c key we are just shrinking the collider to half its original size so that the player will go down and we are also adding a little bit of force also when we are crouching so we are adding little bit of small downward force also so that it doesn't stays in the air so if we crouch we get an extra added force in downward direction which will push us down and uh, will make our game object look much better so this section is required this section is required which is a function and we are calling this function every time in the update part as you can see this is the update and we are calling it in crouch part and we also require a bool is crouch which is telling us if you are crouched or not and a float player collider height and a public capsule collider so these are the only things that are required and we are all done for the uh, editing part and you can just put all your things there and your crouching mechanism should work see it's working properly and if you want to see behind the scene what it is happening with the capsule collider you can see it here also see when I play
if I press C, C, capsicoidal size decreases, and this is how the crouching mechanism works. So I think it helped you a lot understanding this, and hope it helps you in your projects also. So that's all from me for today. And next time we will see how to implement the gun animations like walking, sprinting, crouching in Unity using uh, state machines or uh, whatever you want a tutorial on you can comment me in the comment section. And that's all for today's video and thanks for watching and for all the support you have been showing me. Bye have a great day.